I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and I want to talk with you about some good advice to help you develop in your career. Because often people come to me looking for coaching related to taking the step up, as though what needs to happen is someone needs to tap them on the shoulder, and one day they are going to get mentored and coached and pushed uh, using you know, whatever techniques imaginable in order to um, get to that next level. And usually it doesn't work that way. It's not as though people are sitting around um, discussing you. You need to do something that demonstrates your viability for the next level role. I remember years ago, I was involved with uh, running retreat weekends. And there was a friend of mine who was also interested in doing it. And I noticed he carried a notebook with him. And when I asked him why he did that, uh, he said, you know, I want to take down some notes of some of the things that work and don't work uh, so I can learn from that. Boing. Does that resonate for you? Like you work in an organization where management does certain things, they accomplish certain goals, and the result winds up being that, you know, you can learn from observing and starting to act as if, and in that way start to get noticed. It is rare that the person who acts like staff gets promoted into leadership unless they are the best of the staff. And even then, the person is stepping into a role that they're not really qualified for. Why would someone promote you? What's in it for them to give you that step up in class and out of the blue give you that tap on the shoulder? Not a lot of reasons for it is the truth of it. So I want to encourage you. The first thing to start thinking about is noticing what this person does who you're in proximity to. What that manager does, what that director does, what that VP does. How do they go about doing it? Once you have a sense of that, start acting as if you are in that role. Also, meet with them. Talk with them about what they actually do. Talk about your aspirations and if they can keep an eye out on you to see whether or not you can learn from them. Start with yourself, then go to others. Go with to that person that you're observing. The fact of the matter is, you're going to learn a lot on your own. You're going to learn about some of the impediments that people have uh, who are in leadership and decide whether or not it's worth it for you. I believe for most individuals, they want to continue to develop. The way to do that, yes, you could take classes in school, but ultimately you need to be seen as that leader that you want to be and practice. You know, I'll say managers create repeatable processes. Leaders inspire. Managers motivate. The difference is do it because is the manager's job. In the case of the leader, it's do it because you have that desire, that hunger, that passion. You know, it's an internal quality. You're not forcing someone to do it. Be that inspirational figure for more people you will get great results. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. If you're interested in my coaching, you in that step up, reach out to me through LinkedIn or through Facebook. Either way is fine. LinkedIn.com forward slash I am forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw the video because I like knowing that I'm helping some folks. Once connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll set up time for a free discovery call. Or you can join my group, Career Angles on Facebook, Love to help you. I think you'll find a lot of great information here that will help you in your development. Have a great day and take care.